Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. That is a lot of trees. Yeah, really. Hey, hey, welcome back to the ranch. I'm Mr. Dawson, and we're here at the ranch discovering new things about reading and writing so we can use them. Join me here each day so we can go on new discoveries together. Well, yesterday and the day before, we were learning about the letter F but we're going to learn another letter today. But before I do, I wanna talk about our activity book that we're giving away. How do you get one? I'll tell you how. You write a letter to me and send it right here to Valley PBS and I'll send you an activity book, just like Cooper. Cooper from Madeira sent me a letter telling me all the things that he has been learning on the show. So guess what? He is going to get an activity book. You too could get one. Just send me a letter. Well, let's find out the letter we're going to learn about today. But first, let us review all the letters that we know already. Here we go. T, turtle, t, I, insect, I, O, octopus, ah. A, apple, a. Ah. N, nest, n. Camel, oh, C, camel, k. It's all right to make a mistake every now and then. H, hippo, h. B, bat, b. Okay. F, fire, f. And I think this is the letter we're going to learn today. I want you to know that this is a great letter and you should know it. Can you say the letter? What? What? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I have, guess I have to turn it around so you can see it. Okay, here it is. What letter is this? Right, it's R. R, rose, er. This is the letter that we're going to learn today and tomorrow. Here we go. I'm going to put it right up here. Hopefully. There it is. And remember, there is an uppercase R and a lowercase R. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's dig into a video that's going to show us more about the letter R. Here we go. Consonant R. The letter R stands for the R sound you hear at the beginning of rows. Two other words that begin with the letter R are rat and ram. This is an uppercase R. This is a lowercase r. This is how to write the uppercase r. Straight down, go back to the top, around, and in at the dotted line. Slant down. This is how to write the lowercase r. Straight down, curl forward. It's your turn. Did you learn all those things about the letter R? But the one thing you didn't learn is what kind of animal letter is it? What, do you remember what kind of animal letter is the lowercase r? Yes, it's a chicken letter. Why? Because it starts in the middle and stops at the bottom. Well, let's look at the number two today and look at all these pictures and hear the er 
sound for R. Okay, listen, this one is rope. Do you hear the phoneme at the very beginning? Rope. R, R, R is for R. Let's listen, listen to the next one. Rabbit, rabbit. What is the very beginning phoneme? R, R, R. Yes, R is for R. Let's look at this last one. Rake, rake. Do you hear it? R, R is for R. That is so amazing. R, rose, R. R is for R. You guys are so amazing learning these phonemes and letters. How amazing is that? Well, guess what time it is now? That's right, it's time for Daily Phonemic Awareness. Let's take a look. We've been talking about ending phonemes all week. And here we go, I have some more pictures. And remember, on Monday, we were listening to the very ending phoneme and figuring out which two pictures have the same ending phoneme. That's our job today. Are you ready to play? Here we go. Now this, we were talking around here at the ranch about these three pictures. Because they looked confusing, but I'm gonna help. That's what I'm here for. Here we go. This is a truck, a truck. This is a knot, knot. And this is a lock. Lock. Listen to the ending phonemes to all of those pictures and figure out which two pictures have the ending phoneme that is the same. Okay, did you hear it? Okay, here we go. This truck. That one has k. How about this one? Not. Not. And let's try this one. Ooh, so this one had k, t, k. Which two had the same phoneme? Right, truck and lock. Excellent. That was a really hard one. Let's do this one. This one is nut, cat, and mop. Oh, here we go. Let's think of this one. Nut. What's the ending phoneme? T. Right. Let's look at this one. Cat. Cat. What's the ending phoneme? T. Oh. Ooh. It sounds like it's going to be these two. But let's check the last one just in case. Mop. You ready? Mop. Which two have the same ending phoneme? Right, right, nut and cat. They both have t is for t. You guys are so amazing with this ending phoneme stuff. It's amazing. Let's talk about, oh, I know, sight words. Remember I've been telling you that if you know the sight words when you see them, when you see them in a book, you will definitely be able to read them. We've been working on these two sight words right here. Do you remember them? Let's say this one. R, A, R, E spells R. And how about this one? He. Let's spell it. H, E spells he. Oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. R and he. What should we do now? Hmm. Oh, I know. We should be doing some uh, grammar. We've been talking about, oh, that's right, pronouns. Pronouns are nouns that take the place of another noun in a sentence. So here we go. We're going to do these two sentences. I have two sentences right here. Let's read them. Dad is funny. He tells jokes. Do you see the pronoun? The pronoun is he. I could have said, dad is funny, dad tells jokes, but I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So I, what I do is I change uh, 
uh, the noun to a pronoun. And that makes it a little bit more interesting when I say dad is funny, he tells jokes. And who's the he? Right, it goes back to the first sentence, it's dad. Do you see that? That is the power of pronouns. What is our last thing that we should do? Oh, we should be reading a little story. And here's my story for today. Let's read the title, Ron, Nan, and a Fan. We've been looking at uh, letters and sight words and even pronouns. Remember, I want to look for all the er is for R in our sentences. Let me read the story. We see a fan. Ron can tip a fan. Ron can fan Nan. What a great story. Do you know what I want to do? I want to first find the letter R's. Can you, can you find the letter R's? Well, there's one in the title, an uppercase R right there, isn't there? Do you see, how about in the first sentence, do you see the letter R? No, no. How about in the second sentence? Oh, oh, I almost skipped it right there. There's an uppercase R again. And what does R say? Er is for R. Let's look at sentence three. Ron can fan Nan. Oh, there's another R right there. How amazing is that? You know what else I want to look for? I want to look for sight words. Oh, look, we is a sight word. And do you remember this one, C? And who could forget this one, A? Do you see another one in, in, in the second sentence? Right, two, or can, sorry, and A. How about in the third sentence? Right, it's can. Do you see any sight words in the title? Right, and, and A. Look at all those sight words. You see what I mean? If you know the sight words, when you see them, when you see the sight words, you can say them. It's amazing. And you know what? I'm going to take my last little bit of time and talk and say, look, we is a pronoun. It's talking about a whole bunch of people. We see a fan. It could have said John and Stan and, and Jill saw the fan, but no. They say we. We see a fan. Isn't that amazing? And remember, boys and girls, if there's a word that you don't know, like if you didn't know this word right here, what could you do? That's right. You could use your strategy of sounding it out. Ah, mm, and then blend it. Fan, fan. Well, that's all the time we have today. Come back tomorrow so we can learn some more. You guys are getting so smart with this reading and writing stuff. Come back tomorrow and let's have some more fun here at Discovery Ranch. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.